Hey guys, what's up? Robin here. Welcome to the Dividend Investing Case Studies week number 18 on the channel. This is a weekly dividend investing case study where every single week I put money into a dividend based portfolio and we build it completely from scratch. So if you guys are new to the channel, be sure to smash that subscribe button, hit that like button so you guys can follow along with me as I build a dividend based portfolio. There's a couple things I want to do in this dividend investing case study this week, but the first thing we're going to do is we're going to announce the giveaway from last week. So last week I announced that I'd be doing a giveaway uh, for some, for someone who uh, subscribed to the channel and left a comment on my last week's video. So let's hop into the giveaway and let's see who wins the $25 Amazon gift card uh, for this month. Hey guys, what's up, how's it going? Welcome to the uh, Dividend Investor Case Study giveaway. So I'm on my desktop here. Um, what I'm gonna be doing here is I'm gonna be picking the winner for the giveaway. So basically the giveaway, the way it works is I let you guys, I basically say leave a comment in the video and subscribe to the channel. And I'll pick a comment at random here of all the people who are subscribed. I'll double check to make sure they're actually subscribed to the channel. And then if those two things work, then that person will get the giveaway. Um, so we'll take the URL for this video. And we actually got a lot of comments. We have 75 comments on this video. So quite a bit of comments. Um, a lot of those are me, so maybe like half of that were you guys commenting. Um, so lots of interactivity, lots of likes in the video. We almost hit 50 likes. That's awesome, guys. Thank you very much, uh, everybody who um, helped out with that video. I really appreciate it. And I do these giveaways about once a month, so I kind of like to do them just to, to help you guys out and give you guys something for uh, checking out the channel and support me. So we'll take the URL of this video, and we're going to go to my comment picker here. And this basically will paste the URL here. We'll get comments, so it will load all the comments for that video. We can see we have an amount of unique comment commentators equals 36. So anybody who entered in the draw, you have a 1 in 36 chance, I guess, right, of winning the draw. So let's start the raffle and let's see who won the Amazon gift card giveaway. So mostly fishing is the winner of the Amazon gift, way, uh, gift card giveaway. This is somebody who I've seen actually on my channel quite a bit of times. Uh, I'm just going to go to their comment to read it out and give them a quick little shout out. Uh, mostly fishing, where are you buddy? I know you're in here somewhere. Mostly fishing right here. Uh, he says, Enbridge is great. I'm trying to average down uh, at the moment, 50 shares at 47. Um, so he's buying Enbridge. So awesome buddy, thank you for leaving the comment. Thanks for the support. I've seen you actually a couple times on the channel, so I really appreciate that. So in this video, um, after I publish, leave a comment and let me know if you want your gift card uh, for amazon.com or amazon.ca and also leave an email that I can contact you with and what I'll what I'll be doing is using an email to send you the gift card so make sure you use an email that you that you regularly check and you can check and get a hold of and stuff um, so leave those two things in a comment in this video and congrats to mostly fishing uh, for winning the uh, $25 Amazon gift card giveaway uh, for my gi um, gift card uh, give giveaway <laughs> All right, so we're inside our Wealth Simple Trade portfolio. This is the actual dividend investing case study that update that you know a lot of you guys are waiting for. Um, so this week is going to be a pretty cool week because we're nearing the end of the month, the end of April, uh, the beginning of May. So that means that most of our stocks will be paying out dividends. So we have lots of cool stuff going on uh, for this week. But first of all, before we go into go into all that stuff, uh, here's my tax-free savings account portfolio. We have one thousand seven hundred and forty-six dollars Canadian. And if we go to our all-time stats, we can see that we are uh, down $178 all-time, negative 10%. Um, so stocks have slowly been climbing back. In fact, yesterday, yesterday they actually went up quite a bit. Um, you can see here the past week, we have a bit of a, we know we went up a little bit, but then we're kind of going back down a little bit. So I'm um, not too sure what's going to happen there. I know some people are predicting that things are going to kind of crash again. Uh, while some people are thinking that it's going to go up, I don't really know what's going to happen. I think it's going to, we're probably going to stay around where we are right now for a while. And then maybe we'll go up like slowly kind of thing, I think is what's going to happen. Or maybe we'll go down a little bit. I don't know. It doesn't really matter. Uh, but the point is like basically, yeah, like we're starting to recover a little bit. So that's, that's good, but we're still down uh, by quite a bit overall. So here's my actual stock dividend portfolio for you guys who are new to the channel. I think last week we bought Enbridge stock. Um, and here's the other stocks that we have in this portfolio. So quite a bit po Quite a, quite a bit of different stocks here, but we're mostly based on uh, dividend-based ETFs for this portfolio, make up the bulk of this fund. And for this week, I'm just going to be taking about $100 or so, and I'm gonna, just gonna be sticking into all the different ETFs we have. Um, since last week we bought Enbridge, which is a single stock, I'm going to keep on uh, keep on the idea of investing into ETFs and spreading things up into the greater market. And then maybe we can invest in some single stocks here and there. But I think that's what we're going to do with the portfolio uh, for this week. So uh, not too much going on. I'm, I'm still waiting on my deposit to go through. So I'm going to deposit that um, pretty soon here and I'll just spread it across my account. Um, so let me know what you guys are buying this week in your dividend uh, based portfolio. So if you guys are buying dividend stocks or anything like, feel free to let us know in the comments what you're buying, uh, whether it be an ETF or a single stock, whatever it is, uh, we'd like to hear it. 
And I'm also gonna go over the dividends really quickly because we actually got a lot of dividends for this portfolio for this week. And the cool thing is, is that we're starting to see, I'm just gonna filter it to make sure we have this dividend investing account in here only. I'm just gonna double check, looks like it is. And the cool thing here is that we're starting to see our money is starting to compound and grow. Like we're starting to see those dividends can kind of go up here, you know? Like I always like to point this out because like I like to show new people who are new to the channel and just to kind of remind myself and remind everybody else how like how it grows over time. So when we first started investing in January, you know, we were getting about 40 cents, 20 cents, 30 cents, 20 cents. And then in February we had 80, 96, and you can see it just slowly starting to increase. In uh, April, yeah, the beginning of April, we hit our first $1 dividend. That's, that's pretty cool, eh? Like our first $1 dividend, and then you can see for the rest of April here, we have a bunch of other stocks that are just um, kind of slowly going up, you know, 60 cents, $1.70, almost $2 right there from uh, XRE, our XRE dividend. And then we have RNW, which is 86 cents, and then another dollar one. So you can see they're starting to kind of creep up there. And what I'll do is I'll bring out my spreadsheet here in just a second here. We can go over all the different dividends and I can show you guys like the overall growth and whatnot. But I just want to point out that I think there might be another ETF or a few stocks that haven't they haven't been updated in Wealth Civil Trade yet, or the dividends pay at the beginning of uh, make um, at the beginning of May. So we're just kind of waiting on those two. So this isn't the overall portfolio, like and that's what happens with these dividends is some pay at the end of the month some pay at the beginning some pay in the middle so it's kind of over the place um, but let's jump into spreadsheets so we can kind of look at uh, uh, the what we have so far in the month of april in our previous months all right so i zoomed in here a little bit hopefully you guys can see the text on the screen here uh, but this is the spreadsheet for the portfolio basically where i track my dividends um, and you can see here i did update this uh since i just before i did this video so everything in here is current and updated and we can see here that on March 4th for the for April, entirety of April, we made $5.22. So, you know, our dividends are slowly growing. Like I said, there might be a few more that I, I haven't added yet or we haven't been reported yet, um, but you can see that they were slowly starting to grow. You know, in, in, in January, we got 44 cents. In February, we got $1.61. And then in March, we got 4.35. And now we got 5.22. Keep in mind, some of our ETFs also pay out quarterly. So, um, yeah, like, you know, some months are going to be a little bit bigger than others. You can see we had a big jump from February to March, but that's because a lot of our dividends had a bigger, uh, a stocks had a bit of bigger dividend or we had some quarterly dividends that paid out. So a little bit of a jump there, but you can see here we're slowly, st we're still growing overall. And in total from this dividend and base, uh, investing case day, we made $11 and 62 cents in dividends. So once again, guys, we're slowly getting there, you know, m month four, you know, we're slowly kind of get some traction going. And this is about investing around $100 per week into this portfolio. So we're slowly growing, we're slowly getting there, we still have a long ways to go, but I'm pretty happy with the way things are. I'm gonna wait till next week, maybe when I do my next update, when all our dividends have come in, and maybe I'll show you guys when I'm buying for this week, because I like to add that into my dividend investing case studies. And once again, I'll link to the entire playlist so you guys can watch these from scratch in the description of this video. So you guys check out that link, it'll take you to the whole entire playlist. You can watch them all from the beginning if you want, that's up to you, but uh, they'll be there for the people who wanna kind of follow along with me with this journey. And other than that, guys, that's it for this video. So let me know, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Let me know um, if you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys are new to the channel, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you guys want more updates. And that's pretty much it for today's video, guys. So let me know, know what you guys think. Uh, please take care, thanks for watching the video, and I'll see you guys later.